right, guys, I'm getting ready to go out for a ride. I'm going to test out this jacket that I got. Uh, I got it about a month ago, but I haven't worn it yet. Got it from a discount shop here in town. Um, it says Bison Apparel on it. So what I did was I looked up on the internet. It's from Minnesota. It's from a warehouse, uh, Bison Motorcycles. So they had a fire. So I guess everything in the warehouse was insured. So they just rolled everything off. So the discount store ended up buying a bunch of their supply and it got marked down pretty good. I mean, I got this jacket for a hundred bucks. So we have inside pockets right here, button down, they're on each side. Um, it's got a insulating layer on the inside. You can uh, actually, it buttons up in the sleeve right here and it zips inside. So that's kind of nice. I'll probably wear it because it's a little bit chilly outside. I usually don't, but right now I will. It's got the bilateral pockets right here on the outside. It's got these two breast pockets right here. There's a zipper. Plenty of room in there. Might even possibly get your cell phone in there. Kind of gives it a nice retro look. So I like this little pattern right here. It's got gusseted armpits. So it lets you, uh, it's good flexibility, lets you move around quite a bit. It's also vented, so that's good. It's got the little zipper and button down here on the cuff. Easy in, easy out. Pretty thick leather. Feels nice and uh, feels nice and soft, good quality. I have not seen any bad stitching in this. Let's take a look at the inside. It's got these pockets right here on the inside on each side. Now there are some jackets that have these pockets on the inside and they actually have a place where you can actually put your firearm. This particular jacket does not have that. I wish it did, but it does not. Um, I usually conceal carry in my waistband anyway. So what's good about this jacket, I usually conceal carry in my waistband. So I like this little gusset right here. You can zip it for a little bit tighter fit, but you can loosen it up. And my other jacket, it's pretty tight around the waist because I usually carry inside the waistband. So this is going to be kind of nice. It's going to be a little bit more comfortable. Nice big zipper. So if you have gloved hands, you're not going to fumble around for a little tiny zipper. It has sleeve vents right here for during those uh, days where it gets a little bit warm, maybe even during the summertime. I usually wear leather in the summer also. It's just a little bit extra protection. So let's take a look at the back side here. I'm gonna flip this over. So it's got a little bit of a gusset right here. So again, a little bit more comfortable, allows you a little bit more movement. Yeah, so I'm really happy about this purchase. Let's try it out. It's about 52 degrees outside. It's a little bit, I bought it a little bit big because I usually uh, conceal carry and I just want a little, just a little bit more room to, to move around. So let's get this thing on and uh, go out for a test ride. All right, so I got my jacket on. Um, it's a little bit loose, but that's the way I wanted it. Um, it's a 46, I usually wear 44. Uh, I do have a lot. I do have a lot of leeway when it comes to flexibility. So I think it's a pretty nice looking jacket. Um, I left this little gusset open because I'm uh, carrying right now and uh, it's pretty comfortable so I still got plenty of room this side still zipped up discuss it here so I got a little bit more room for those days that we have a, a big lunch when we're out on the road and I've got that little food belly right there so I can let both of those out and be nice and comfy well let's uh let's go test this thing out feels pretty good it's pretty insulating uh, let's let's get out and do some riding Oh, so I forgot to tell you earlier, whenever I was telling you about that warehouse fire where I got this jacket, uh, or where this jacket came from, uh, this jacket does not smell of smoke at all. It's like a brand new jacket. So I bet you a lot of that stuff in the warehouse wasn't even damaged. They just wrote it off on their insurance, sold all their supply and just got some new supply. And uh, this discount warehouse that's near me here in town ended up getting a lot of their uh, inventory so lucky for me i also got 
a uh, small helmet for my girls because they've been wanting to go out and ride with me. So I ended up getting a really nice Indian helmet. I got a nice uh, vest with the Indian logo on the back of it. I'll show you those uh, when I come back from the ride, but right now I'm getting out and riding. I've got an engagement tonight, a birthday party. So I got to get out and get a ride in and then head home and I'll get some shots of that helmet and vest for y'all. I was like looking over here, I don't know why, I guess it's just habit. I should be looking right there because that's where the camera is, but usually I have it over here. But, ah, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that stuff whenever I get back. Uh, right now I'm gonna get out there and ride. I'm still doing it. All right. All right, I just got back from the ride. You can tell from my helmet hair. Stayed out a little bit longer than I expected to stay out or that I was going to stay out. I actually went for a three hour ride. Felt pretty good, hadn't been on the bike in a while. Uh, the jacket held up really well. Uh, stayed warm. Uh, I don't know what the temperature is right now, but it's pretty chilly. My fingers are frozen. My legs are frozen, because I just got jeans on. Uh, but the jacket kept me warm. Uh, it's a keeper. Okay, so this is the helmet that I was talking about. It's a, it's an Indian motorcycle helmet. Uh, this uh, face shield actually comes up. But I'll do a little review on that later. I don't have enough time. I'm getting ready to go to work. There is the Indian jacket that I got at a heavily discounted price. I'll also do a review on this one. Um, Pretty nice, pretty heavy too. You can tell the quality just by the, the weight. Um, got them pretty cheap. Uh, I'll do a review of those a little bit later. I gotta get to work. It's gonna be a good old five or six day stretch of 12 hour shifts. So pretty busy around here, but I'll try to get to it. All right, talk to y'all later.